Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Let's solve the problem A from the weekly contest 385. First, let's understand the problem statement clearly. I personally felt this is not an easy problem. So, if you are like easy to medium problem, I can say. It's not an easy problem where you can, if you learn the language and if you come and solve this problem, then I think you will face issues to solve this problem. So, first let's understand the problem statement. You are given zero indexed string array words. Let's define a Boolean function is prefix and suffix that takes two strings, string 1 and string 2. Is prefix and suffix string 1 and string 2 returns true if string 1 is both a prefix and a suffix of string 2 and false otherwise. Is saying that now suppose if you are taking this example, uh, let us take the example in the given here. Now A B A and we have A B A B A is saying this string 1 is both a prefix and suffix of string 2. Now, A B A it is a prefix of string 2 and it is also suffix of string 2 that means this is a valid. For example, is true because A B A is a prefix and also suffix. We need to return the denoting number of index pairs. We need to return i and j and we need to count all of them. We need to count all of them. If you think, if you think like do not get demotivated if you could not able to solve this problem because this involves a bit uh, logic. Now, if you see here we have A, A B A, we have A B A and we have A B A B A. Now, initial, initial comparison will be, so my this first three characters should match with first these three characters, right. So, I will start from i is equals to 0 and I will start from j is equals to 0 and I will iterate and I will iterate and I will check and if I reach i is equals to my size of string 1 that means my prefix is matching with prefix of string 2 prefix of string 2. Now, how to match the suffix think about it how you will match the suffix. So, if you think so I think you have thought for a couple of minutes so I will take i is equals to I will go till the index last index i is equals to s1 dot size minus 1 that means here i is equals to 2 and here my j is equals to s2 dot size minus 1 here my j is equals to 4. So, I will compare s1 of i and s2 of j and if both are equal I will decrement I will decrement and if my i reaches to minus 1 that means my i is equals to 0 is also matching then I will say my prefix has matched my prefix has matched then my suffix also matched that that time I will say that return true and I will calculate the total number of counts. So, you can see in the in the question here the constraints are very small. So, if you if the constraints is very small so you can go for order of n square. So, I think you have got the logic try to code for a couple of minutes. So, I think you have tried. So, let us see the coding part. So, here we are iterating i is equals to 0 j is equals to i plus 1 then is valid is v of i comma v of j. Now, string a and string b first will match the prefix that means I am starting from i is equals to 0 and j is equals to 0 and if my i is not reached till then that means suppose we have a b a and in the big uh, in the string 2 we have a b c a c. Now, a b a b is matching but the third character is not matching. So, I will say i is not reached till the end. So, I will return 0 that means my false. Now, if it is true then i is equals to n minus 1. So, from here I will start j is equals to m minus 1 then I will check and if my i is equals to minus 1 that means we have iterated the string 1 completely and we will return return true if it is true we are returning the count we are incrementing the count and finally we are returning it. So, if you see here it will take order of uh, here order of n square and if you see here here also we are iterating n number of times. So, it will be order of n square into n that means overall the time complexity will be order of n cube and here we are not using any extra space the space will be order of 1. So, I think you have understood the solution. So, if you gain something from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe. I have created a whatsapp community in the in the description you can check it out you can join that community where we will discuss the problems from the weekly contest. So, thank you for watching I will see you in the next video.